What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one, the only, Ash Said It. Ash Said It dot com, Ash Said It dot com. Welcome to the Ash Said It daily podcast show. I appreciate you guys so very much. Over 1,500 episodes, wow. And half a million streams worldwide. None of this would be possible without you guys, so I thank you so, so very much. And yes, we're still living a bit of a pandemic life. You know, COVID has changed everything forever, but it doesn't mean that you can't still have fun, all right? You can get some good feeling music and some good vibrations going. So I've got the wonderfully talented singer-songwriter herself, the young Miss Kiersey Long. Hey, Kiersey. (laughs) Hey, how are you? I am great. How are you doing today? I'm doing quite fine. Awesome. So, Kiersey, what part of the country are you holding down right now? Uh, we live out here in New Jersey. Ooh, New Jersey. Oh, okay. Out in Annandale, okay. countryside. Gotcha. So what kind of, did you guys get hit by that Hurricane Zeta? Yeah. You did? We did get hit by that. Oh. Nothing crazy, but mm. offering. Gotcha, gotcha. Because I'm, I'm down in Georgia, and we got just a lot of rain, a lot of winds and stuff, so it wasn't too crazy. Yeah. It was just more annoying than anything. <laughs> But, um, all right. So yeah, it's been raining all day today. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I, I can imagine. Yeah. And it's yeah. probably going to be that way this whole weekend, unfortunately. So, mm, not fun. <laughs> but, uh, so, Kirsty, when did you realize that you wanted to sing? So, actually, my dad's side of the family, they're all very Broadway and musical involved. Mm-hmm. And so, from a young age, I was always, like, in their musicals in the background. And I really enjoyed performing on stage. And my dad introduced me, my dad and my grandma introduced me to rock music. And so that's when I started singing rock music, and I just really enjoyed that. Okay. All right. So when you start to really enjoy rock, what was your next stage? Did you ask your dad to get you, like, vocal lessons? or? We actually recorded, it was uh, around Christmas time, and we recorded a cover of, uh, we covered a heart song or something, and it, mm. uh, one of the biggest um, vocal teachers out in Utah, which is where we lived back then, yeah. Dean Kalen, mm-hmm. he saw it, and yeah. he said, hey, I want to meet you, and so once we met him, we started doing vocal lessons, and kind of went from there. Okay. What would you say has been the biggest challenge for you as far as being a singer in the industry? Well, with COVID, it's been really mm. hard with, like, live shows and stuff like that. Yeah. I love live shows. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. Yeah. But with COVID, I haven't been able to do that. I think it's hard to, I find it hard to engage with the crowd a lot. Right. So okay. I've been trying to work better on that. Okay. Cool, cool, man. That sounds good. You know, it's always good to, you know, I mean, it's good that you're actually getting out there, you know, you had the opportunity to actually get out there in front of crowds and see, like, what works for you, what you like, what you don't like, and you can just, you know, kind of better adjust and figure out, okay, what is the best, the best way for this to happen? All right, so when, when do you feel that the songwriter part of you kind of started to develop? My, it was a funny story. I was actually out in the rain, <laughs> and I was petting my cat, my outdoor cat, in the rain, and I had this little melody that I was humming to myself all day, mm-hmm. and I just started to write lyrics to it. Mm. And then I was like, this is actually kind of good. <laughs> so I got a notepad, and I wrote it down, and when my dad came home from work the next day, I sang it to him, and he got out his guitar. And he played the melody that I had, and we turned it into a song. Awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. So where do you pull a lot of the inspiration for your songs? It usually comes from life experiences that I have. I actually find that I write a lot of my songs about the books that I'm reading. Mm-hmm. I love to read books. It's my, mm. like, absolute favorite pastime. <laughs> and I notice that a lot of my songs have to do with a lot of the characters in my books. Gotcha, gotcha. So let's talk about um, one of the latest tracks that I was made aware of for you, Not Your Princess. I absolutely love the rock version. I don't know what it is about strings and (laughs) 
<laughs> and rock music. But I absolutely love that track. What was the inspiration behind yeah. the song? Um, my dad calls me Princess a lot. <laughs> and one day I was just like, I don't know why, but it bugged me. So I told him that I didn't like that. Mm-hmm. And she said, you should go write a song about it. So that's what my dad says to everything. <laughs> I'll write a song about and it. And I was kind of like, eh. <laughs> and so it was the next day at our uh, Sunday school class. My teacher comes up to me and she goes, there you are, my little princess. And I yelled at her. I didn't yell at her. But I was like, I'm not your princess. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, that's a good hook for a song. <laughs> that is too cute. So, all right, now that we've been dealing with COVID the last couple of months and everything's just been crazy and up in the air, how have you been occupying your time, you know, spending a lot of time, obviously, at home and indoors? I've been practicing a lot on the piano. I didn't Mm. used to be very good at the piano, but now that I'm practicing, I'm kind of learning. Okay. I can do some (laughs) cool stuff now. And uh, as far as, like, wardrobe and styling, how would you describe your style? Um, at home, I'm very, like, t-shirt and sweat. Mm -hmm. But when I get on stage, my kind of get-up is usually, like, a very grungy, steampunk, almost, Mm -hmm. look. Gotcha, gotcha. What yeah. is what? What would you say is the most rewarding part about being a musician? Um, it's. I think the most rewarding part is whenever I perform live, getting to watch everybody's faces and watch how I influence them mm. with my music. I think that's the best part of being a performer. Yes. And so, what is next for you, Kirstie? Like, what is it? What's the next big goal that you're looking to accomplish? Well, we've been trying to get stuff on the radio, and we have a new single that we're going to release soon. It's actually a cover of Ooh. a Beatles song, Ooh. and it's getting some radio play. Okay, so we're pretty excited about that. Yes, that is awesome, awesome songs. And last but certainly not least. What advice could you offer to any other young person out there that aspires to be a singer-songwriter in this industry? I feel like a lot of, we let other people control us. Mm. I just want to tell everybody that they, they should do what they want, not because other people want them to do it, but because it's something they love to do. Right. Such good words. I love it. I love it. Kirstie Long, Kirstie, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us today. We appreciate of you course. so much. Let everybody know the best way to get in contact with you, to follow you, and all that good stuff. So I have a website. It's KirstieLong.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kirstie.Long. And that's spelled K-J-E-R-S-T-I, Milwaukee. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Casey, I wanted to ask, okay, your name, the spelling of your name. Where, what is the origin of your name? My name's actually Norwegian. It's originally pronounced Shirsti, but since we're in America, no one would ever look at my name and say that. So (laughs) here it's pronounced Kirsti. Got it, got it. I love it. Here's the much more success to you and your team and your dad and everybody involved with your career. We definitely, I'm looking forward to more and more good stuff from you. I definitely want you to come back so we can talk about more stuff because I know as the months go on, there's going to be more announcements and more things to let everyone know about. And so I definitely want you to come back so we can talk and discuss about that. But um, that I appreci- would be awesome. Yes, I would. I would absolutely love nothing more. <laughs> and um, thank I you so oh, thank you so much for joining us. And I thank each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keep it in mind. Anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face. You tell them, "Don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for. The history books." Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.